Let's work on the problem of least squares for system identification and adaptive control. The goal is to minimize this quadratic cost function by finding the best possible parameter vector theta hat k. And the dimension of the problem is as follows. Y is a scalar. Theta hat is a column vector. So theta hat transpose is a row vector. And phi, the regressor vector, is a column vector. We have a row vector multiplying with a column vector generating a scalar. Throughout the derivation, we'll be using two very simple facts. First of all, if A, B are column vectors of the same dimension, then A transpose B generates a scalar. Similarly, B transpose A is also going to generate a scalar and they are equal. As a result, theta hat transpose k times phi i minus one generates a scalar and it equals phi i minus one transpose times theta hat k. The order of the vector multiplication can be swept if they generate a scalar. And second, from calculus, we know that if f is a function of theta one and theta two, then this vector multiplication, theta column vector transpose times phi column vector, if we take the partial derivative of f with respect to theta, is going to be equal to taking the partial derivative of f with respect to the individual elements, theta one and theta two. And the result of this partial derivative, it equals phi because Partial f, partial theta one equals phi one. Partial f, partial theta two equals phi two. So this partial derivative generates a column vector phi. With that, we can very easily solve the least squares problem for system identification. We have the summation term and inside this quadratic function can be spanned to be equal to yi square minus two times yi minus theta hat transpose k times phi i minus one plus theta hat transpose k times phi i minus one square. Using the fact that the order of the vector multiplication can be swapped, this is nothing but summation i from one to k yi square minus two y i phi i minus one theta hat k. Swapping the order, putting phi i minus one transpose in the front, plus phi i minus one transpose theta hat k square. Quadratic functions are very easy to minimize. And for this quadratic function, we can see taking the partial derivative of jk with respect to theta hat transpose and the setting to be zero, we will be able to find the minimizer. The partial derivative is equal to zero because yi squared doesn't depend on theta hat minus, now using this fact that partial f over partial theta, taking the partial derivative of this function with respect to theta is going to generate a column vector phi. So we will be able to obtain, uh, this is a row vector. So the result should be the transpose of this row vector here. Lastly, for this term, this square term, so using the chain rule, we will be able to obtain the partial derivative, which is going to be two times phi i minus one transpose theta hat k times the partial derivative of the inside function with respect to theta hat. This should be phi i minus one. Some cleanup will immediately give us the final result. We have a common scalar two 
that can be removed by dividing both sides of this equation by scalar two. And then inside, we can see that phi i minus one transpose times theta hat, this is a scalar. We can put a scalar either in the front or at the end. So this is nothing but phi i minus one phi i minus one transpose theta hat k. So therefore we should have y i phi i minus one should equal to the summation of y i phi i minus one should equal to the summation of phi i minus one phi i minus one transpose theta hat k. Let's check the dimensions again. Phi is a column vector and phi transpose is a row vector. So this quantity over here is going to be a matrix. It turns out if we sum a large quantities of such matrices together, we will be able to have an invertible matrix in practice. So that means theta hat k should equal to the inverse of this matrix times summation i from one to k y i phi i minus one. And that is the solution in the sense of these squares. This theta hat vector is going to minimize this quadratic function jk.